Over the past decade, the Brandon Shores power plant near Baltimore, Maryland, has upgraded its pollution controls to comply with state rules and anticipated federal mandates. John Quinn heads the Environmental Affairs Office at Constellation Energy, the Baltimore-based utility that runs Brandon Shores. He says the plant's new $800 million scrubber removes sulfur dioxide from smokestack exhaust. It's now required by EPA's cross-state transport rule that targets pollutants from coal-fired plants that cause smog and acid rain downwind. We've been very supportive of things like the transport rule because we've installed a lot of high-tech controls for a lot of years, and it's time the upwind sources also um, matched our emission controls. The EPA says the cleaner air resulting from the new standard could save an estimated $280 billion per year in health care costs. Assistant EPA Administrator Gina McCarthy believes that benefit far outweighs the annual cost to comply with the new rule. As a result of this rule, we will be reducing, starting in 2014 and every year thereafter, 34,000 premature deaths, 1.8 million lost work days. These are significant health benefits for three quarters of the U.S. population. Jeffrey Homestead was the architect of a similar emissions reduction rule when he served as assistant administrator of the EPA under former President George W. Bush. Homestead, like many politically conservative critics of the EPA, fears the regulatory climate will cause many U.S. manufacturers either to shut down operations or move their factories overseas. And with just the number of new requirements coming out of EPA, I think there's significant concern, especially in areas where we have heavy manufacturing today, that they just won't be competitive in, in global markets given the increase in the cost of electricity. That's not the scenario envisioned by current EPA officials who argue that power plant upgrades like those at Brandon Shores can create thousands of new jobs and help businesses become more competitive. Assistant Administrator Gina McCarthy says the EPA's proposed new curbs on mercury and toxic pollutants are long overdue. Believe it or not that in this country nationally we have no national standard for toxics for the largest sector that emits toxic pollution. So we regulate over 90 industry sectors for toxics. We have failed to regulate the power sector which emits more toxics than all of the rest of them. Critics of the agency in Congress and private industry oppose tighter regulations because of concerns about their potential economic harm. Gina McCarthy counters that the new rules make sense, both for the U.S. economy and for public health. We're doing what we're supposed to do. We're implementing the Clean Air Act and we're doing it in the most cost-effective way that we can. Back at the Brandon Shores power plant near Baltimore, environmental affairs manager John Quinn says Constellation Energy has kept pace with change. We're very comfortable we're, we're going to be able to comply with all of the rules. Constellation Energy has managed to stay ahead of the regulatory curve. EPA officials hope its compliance with the stricter clean air rules will be a model for other U.S. companies. And they hope that success will strengthen the agency's case against its vocal and powerful critics. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.